Toms didn't start with the idea for a shoe. In fact, it was the absence of a shoe that started it all. Argentina was beautiful. The music, the colors, the food, the people. But as soon as I left the city, I noticed this need. I knew nothing about shoes and very little about giving. But I had a simple idea. What if a for-profit shoe company used giving as its business model? One where for every pair of shoes sold, a new pair would be given to a child in need. One for one. They'd be shoes for a better tomorrow. Tomorrow shoes. So I called them Toms. I remember boxing some of the first Toms at Blake's apartment. We sold 10,000 pairs that first summer, so we gave away 10,000 pairs. 10,000 pairs that protected children from disease and infection, that completed the school uniform, helping increase enrollment. We gave repeatedly, going back time and time again to the same communities, watching the kids grow up with Toms on their feet. 10,000 became one million, two million. A spontaneous response to a simple need had evolved into something much bigger than we had expected. We were learning to give by giving, and we were getting some of it wrong. The criticism made us take a closer look at what we were doing, and this led us to a realization. One for One wasn't a corporate policy, it was a movement. We weren't a shoe company at all, we were a giving company, and this changed everything. I was hired to grow the giving department. Now we have an entire team of people devoted to learning how to give better, to take feedback we had received, and to do more. We designed new giving products, winter boots for colder climates, sneakers for play in our city streets. We evolved from just providing aid to supporting economic development. We partnered with factories in Kenya, India, Ethiopia, hired artists to hand paint shoes in Haiti, and made a commitment to produce one-third of our giving shoes in local markets. We work with local NGOs to deliver shoes right up to the last mile. But we saw that the communities needed more. They needed wells, prenatal care. There was malnutrition, devastating diseases caused by shoelessness. So we dedicated a percentage of our sales to help and took on podoconiosis as a personal cause, funding clinics devoted to eradicating the disease. And then we saw another need. We took our learnings from giving shoes and applied them to sight. It was a new way of looking at one for one, not just giving a product, but helping restore sight through surgery, medical treatment, and prescription glasses. It's about pairing one person making a purchase with one person in need. It's about a simple transaction changing a life. This is what one for one is about. And the future of one for one is about more than giving. It's about changing the way business is done around the world. Toms didn't start with the idea for a shoe. In fact, it was the absence of a shoe that started it all.